Right, so I'm going to try to polish the backs of these iPods. This one is from, this is a thick 5.5. This is a thin 5.5, which is the one I'm currently using. And this is a iPod Nano, which I completely destroyed while opening. Um, here's the rest of that. Anyway, so for this, I'm going to use this Mother's Mag and aluminum or aluminum polish. This thing is super awesome. I just got this yesterday. I tried it on a tiny little portion. I don't know if you can see kind of right here. It's phenomenal. It removes some of the scratches and it makes it super shiny. So that's what we're going to do today. And another thing we'll need is some, some cotton stockinette. Um, you can use a microfiber towel. It, it will work. However, I just had um, some of this stuff. See, it comes in a big roll and you just cut it. I had some of this stuff left over from my other polishing videos. Um, you can find it here. And this is what I will be using. So, instead of starting on this one, I want to see what it would be like to start on one of these. Because this one, it, it looks like somebody sanded this before. Or somebody did something. So, I'm going to see if I can try and restore this. So, as good as this product is, I really don't like how the, the, the lid closes. It takes a lot of force. So I'm just going to be using some from here. I recommend use a small portion of the cloth. Oh, that's metal. It's sticking to my iPad. Anyway, it, it, I, I, again, I recommend using a small portion so you don't use as much product. And go in one direction. Just like detailing your car, one direction only. And just a couple passes, you can already see it removing, it's already removing some of the grime or it's removing the letters, I don't know, because I can't really see. So I can, I can smell the metal coming off of this thing. I'm not sure if it's dirty or what is it? Let's see. Okay, a little better than uh, what, what we started with, which is good. Let's do the sides as well. Um, there's no easy way around this. Uh, I mean, you could use a power tool, but these things are very small and delicate. I would just polish it by hand. Use some elbow grease, put on a good audiobook, or listen to some music. I think it's a great weekend project. Or I mean, it's not going to take super long. I would recommend um, against going in circles because it would create some swirls. Just go in one direction at a time. Or just go in one direction um, the whole time, which works too. See, my my uh, my my wrist is already getting a little tired. We're just polishing this thing. I'm not even going to be using this one. I should probably polish the one I'll actually be using. However, after just two passes, it's already way shinier. This I like. This is nice. This is very nice. Now, it th it's not going to remove all the scratches, but it does remove some debris. So, for example, like this little piece right here, it's a little piece of debris something stuck to the case just work over it bam it's gone this looks like a nasty scratch I don't think it can remove that let's put this one aside let's try on this small iPod because this one it's pretty shiny already someone put the Apple sticker here you can see it I'm going to see if I can uh, remove that imprint Again, just still working off of the lid. Whatever's on the lid, I literally opened this um, just now. 
Okay, that's a little too much product. Very cool. Okay, so instead of instead of doing this on something I don't I'm not going to use, I'm gonna do it on my actual iPod. Like I said earlier, I'm waiting for a new back plate and the front plate to arrive. Um, in my iPod video, I mentioned that I was going to go with the Atomic Red, Ruby Red uh, front, but I decided against it. I wanted to go with something Apple, something original. So I ordered a white faceplate and a gray, just, just, the, you know, just the white version. They're kind of hard to come by. Uh, at least I haven't found any as of yet in original, or not original, in, in mint, in, in, well, decent condition. Like this one, I can show you. This is how I got it, right? The back, immaculate. The front, very nice. Just a tiny little scratch. I think I did that uh, in my pocket. However, you know, the, the sides are cracking. Up here it's cracking. This is due to me not opening it with not the proper tools same as these little dings however it's in great condition right the back isn't as scratched as this one per se right it's not cloudy like that so this is great oh and also i want to try getting my hands on a um, generation 7 ipod classic and i want to sand off the aluminum front and kind of polish it to a chrome that would be a super fun project. All right, so so one thing I noticed, wow, it's like a mirror polish, you can see me. That's so cool. So one thing I noticed that it kind of makes the uh, engravings on the back a little darker in color. Don't have a comparison since I just did all of mine, all the backs I have. However, I think it makes, it clouds up. I, know, I wouldn't say clouds up. It makes it a little darker than what it was before. Or it could be an illusion. I don't know. However, if you, this is the product, not sponsored by them or anything. I just saw other people use it on YouTube and Reddit. This is what everyone recommended. You can also use other products that people recommended, but this is just the one I used. Pretty good. And um, I mean, you have a whole tub of it. If you have a car, you can polish your wheels if you have the time. For a motorcycle, you can polish some of the parts on that as well. So pretty good. I, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Um, I get to use it like this for another couple of weeks until my new casing and back arrives from China. And I will probably repurpose this for another iPod. Maybe it's going to be my uh, second iPod. So look forward to that. And um, yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys next time.